can see back in there, there's still more big firs. And if we proceed through here to the end, you will come out past the bend in what has been called the bowling alley. One very large stump there. Can that be seen in the end of the film, I wonder? That's a monster tree. Here are the last firs. Looking back towards the big tree initially. More big firs down over there, under those maple leaves. And right up in front of us here is the creek, where Patterson's foot of film would have run out right about now. The creature escapes. Probably down through here. Here we have Bluff Creek. This is the bowling alley heading north. And uh, probably up through there is where the creature made its escape. If we follow Titmus's drawing, or up the creek here to the top of the bowling alley, if we follow what Bob Gimlin has said, how they tracked her upstream. Okay, here's Rowdy. Here's our cape line. And there's Robert. What's our distance? 345? 345 right here. 345 feet from the first sighting spot. Right? Correct. 345 feet. We had 100 feet from the sighting spot to the far side of the creek where the bank goes up. What are you filming, Stephen? I'm filming the flag. <laughs> this is Robert. Uh, yeah. Not his uh, legs. 345 feet to this point from where we first started. Okay. And you yes. can see behind him Perfect. are the big trees. Oh, nice. You want me to hang on to the tip? Okay. This would almost certainly be the big tree behind Robert right now. Smile, Robert. I think this is it. Yeah, this is Remember? similar to the one that Peter Byrne talked about when he talked about an old fir tree with the woodpeckers working it. That's the big tree, dude. That's it. But remember you were saying there's a maple in between them? There was a maple. That, That's so a fairly a, old maple yeah, there. Well, we have an older big leaf maple, but the only way to know exactly how old that maple is is to do the boring commit. Next year works. we'll bore that. But in the picture there's a big maple. Was it to the right or the left of the big tree? It was to the right. And this big maple is to the right. Yeah, this one here may that actually that the other tree right there. may actually be too close. But remember there was uh, another tree on the other side of the maple. The maple at right. that point it was perhaps all right, I'll take it all the, way in. the uh, ladder tree. It doesn't that show that much sign maple. of that now. Yeah, I want to go to that maple. Yeah, that's and then an angled we don't need dead I should use the flag fur, could that still be it in the ground right there? You see it. It had more top to it in the in the film, here's Robert now reaching the end of the sandbar. Not too far from our 345 foot marker. This is the end of the flood, the beginning of the mountainside. Yeah, what I'd give it, Robert, is um, to the left of that tree. Just put your mark on that, wherever you want to go, right through there, yeah. You can get up right through there next to the tree and just. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call right where this metal flag is. Okay, that's bad. I got a few of them on. We're doing a little off, but we're doing good. I think generally we're right on. I think from our initial um, site, our initial anchor point to that maple tree is see our north flag. south. Back there. Go ahead and tighten her up. Up along the line. Okay, so this flag, which is right where it starts climbing up a bit. Okay, this is 33. 33 feet. Okay, so let me write this down. Yeah, 33. What's our total? So 378. So maybe we've just confirmed there's plenty of space in the sandbar yeah. for the film going from north to south. 
basically from our, which you say is in the film, the maple? Well, we don't know. I want to get out the photos and refer to that. I think that maple, you should be able to see it. That's, that's, that's a slower growing tree. And it's, it's looking pretty gnarly and old. Yeah. That's, right next to the big tree. That but is the big tree. Yeah. I think we, we can say for sure that that's it. It is a big tree. There's no other big tree within this vicinity. If you guys are pretty sure this is a vicinity, this is... Well, all we've done is draw a north-south line. But I think that the film trackway transects this north-south line. This would be the big tree. We, Vilmans agreed with us that the perspective lines would show this as the big tree. And then there's some, another big one back behind it, which might be this one right here. And then you see, there's this pole-like tree that's mm -hmm. dead. I'm thinking it could actually be that. Thing right there, still in the ground. Can you Pretty see close, that? but this proximity looks a lot closer. It's hard to see these angles over here. Yeah, so. yeah so that, that makes a little more from sense. From the angle uh -huh. of the view of the film footage, photo here, we'd be looking this way at that and that closer, like this. We're pretty much in line with what he was looking at, right? Let's go to a. Uh, let's go to our original frames. That's the big tree. That's this tree, I believe. See that, that's not a matching tree there. There's not one to match that. This? No, the, this one here. No, but that's hidden back here. These are vine maples on the ground, and if you get the full frame, you can see that it's a maple. And then next this is a it, maple? Well, there's maples. That, this, really, this really matches that maple. See the curve in it right there? Look at uh -huh. that curve. The way it has a little crook in it because maples don't grow they grow from the top up yeah so that crook's going to still be there and that and there's a little crook right there about looks like it. about the right distance up. hey rowdy yeah do me a favor could you point to that crick you talked about the crick yeah the maple the maple Oops, sorry. watch all the branches there they grab at me this yeah say so we come come up the tree mm -hmm. and then there's the crook right up through there there's your crook mm-hmm now obviously this was a lot thinner in the right so it gives it more of a perspective yeah. there's the base mm -hmm. a little bit of a crook right there yeah and right next to that on the left is that is our big tree big tree that has like the woodpecker holes in it and that so we're saying in the original frame that this tree behind this, this one is hidden in the original frame you really can't see the base of this but based on said the angle that, of the shot you're right well, yeah, the foliage in front of it, I guess. Well, t show me again on, on uh, the picture. You guys had that one? You can show me the crick in the tree. There's the maple kind of going up a little bit. And then that, there it is. There it is right there. Show me that crick in that tree. Let's get closer here. Here's the crick in the tree right there in the maple. Mm -hmm. And then here's our second tree. That would be this one right yep. up here. That makes sense right there. It's dead. It could be one of the dead trees. Like These are the alders. Yeah. That have fallen down and died. She walks really between straight. These. I mean, just the way that look, and there's this is, should be like something right here, or even to see where she's walking right between in front of these big stumps here. Uh huh. That those stumps that we found right over here, right by our flowers mm -hmm. and stuff. There, we could grid those out a little bit and then we'll find a better idea where those are. Yeah, well, it, it's all measured in this book. Some mm -hmm. 90 feet from the stumps to the big trees, right. I recall. Yeah, we'll, we'll so go here's our diagrams, the internal points of the film. Um, there's a stump right up here mm -hmm. somewhere. But that, that's that one measured? And the big tree is right here. Right. What's, what stump would you like us to measure, Stephen? I don't know. We need to find this one or these two. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm looking. There's some stumps right there. Are there hey, I, I think from this, is that's the big tree right there? Uh, um, yeah. Uh, we're we're going to be back this way, won't we? Yeah. Well, this is it, and the stumps are, and it's a known commodity. We'll just hit this out right now. If it's not, then that, so, you can rethink this. These stumps are, according to Murphy, behind the creature who walks through here. Now, Stephen, isn't there a measurement off the so called Da tree? to the stumps? Well, apparently not from Murphy. He's measuring the stumps that are right in front of the big tree. Is there any See? measurements from the big tree to the near stump? I'm right in front of the big tree, huh? There's a stump. Well, Murphy's measuring Is there a stump from here? here. 
See the circle goes to these two, and mm -hmm. that's those. There's mm -hmm. the walk of the creature, the big tree right there. Mm -hmm. And from the camera position, he's pointing to this stump to the right, right of the big tree. Past the so-called maple tree. But right at the base of it, basically. Okay. 160 feet from the camera position to from the stump, which would be in All here right. somewhere. All right, so, but it doesn't give a compass to direction, which makes No, but sense. it's assumed that it was north, and I think we more or less measured directly north to the spot here. Yeah, we did measure north. Nothing from the big tree to the stumps. But the, if those two stumps are the ones, All right. perhaps. Yeah. Those are good sized stumps over there. They seem to be too far left. And Steve's talking about the stumps right over there. Yeah. This Stone throw away. Those babies right there. And just to the right of that, off our line we did is this big old tree which looks like it's about four foot diameter. And maple tree. And another tree in the back. Mm -hmm.